Hey, welcome to Kitchen All Over the World, the show where I cook things that I've never tasted before. On today's episode, I'm cooking Afghan Korma Lawand. Join me. So I've got a pot over medium high, and I'm gonna add some clarified butter. This is the same butter that I made uh, for the Dora Wat, so it's got a little cardamom flavor to it, which will go nicely with uh, the rest of the herbs and spices that we'll be using. To that, we're gonna add 50 grams of cashews, 50 grams of blanched almonds, and a couple bay leaves. Stir this up a little bit. And we're gonna fry them for three or four minutes. Now that those are looking nice and toasty, we're gonna add in two chopped up onions. And let's saute these until they're translucent. Now that the onions look translucent and golden and delicious and reduced in size by about half, uh, we're gonna add in uh, about three green chili peppers. I'm using Serrano's, uh, but you can get the authentic ones. I don't actually know what those are, but whatever, use them if you can find them. I'd say about a teaspoon's worth of cardamom. Um, I couldn't get my hands on some cardamom pods, but these are the seeds, uh, so should be good. And this is a, uh, a paste that I made from uh, just ground up poppy seed that I had soaked for about an hour in some water. A uh, long process for very small uh, results, but hopefully it adds a bunch of flavor. Can't imagine that it will, but whatever. After a few minutes, once those have had time to uh, fry up a little bit and release their flavors, we're gonna add 200 mils of water, about a cup, Stir it in, reduce the heat a little bit, and let that go for 10 minutes. As you can see, the water has reduced a bit. Uh, everything's kind of become a bit of a mush. So I'm gonna remove it from the heat. Let it cool a little bit. So I've got another tablespoon of ghee uh, in the pot. I'm gonna add some garlic, some ginger, some cloves, and a couple more whole chilies. After a minute, I'm gonna add about a kilo of chicken. I'm using the thighs, but you can use whatever cut you want. Just cut it into, you know, medium-sized pieces. Once the chicken is cooked on the outside, um, let's add in, oh, there's some paper on top of that yogurt. Hey, see, I don't need enough yogurt. So I don't know these things. Uh, so about, I think it's 0. 0.6 cups or 150 grams of yogurt. Uh, make sure it's full fat strained yogurt. Uh, if it's not strained, you can strain it yourself through cheesecloth for an hour, let it, let all the whey drip out of it. Uh, but you don't want to do that because that's a boring, obnoxious process. Let's lower the heat a little bit because we don't want this to curdle because it is a milk fat product. It'll promptly turn to cheese. So keep it stirring. I'm gonna add back in that puree. As well as a half a teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. And we're going to add uh, 300 mils of water, which is about a cup and a half. So let's let that go for 30 minutes on low heat.
so here it is, the final product. It's kind of a, supposedly a curry. Uh, mostly chicken with nuts and, you know, you saw it was in there. Uh, and I got some rice that I made and I attempted to make some naan, but I made it a little thick. So it's more like a pizza dough. So I won't be, won't be really folding it around my food like you're supposed to. Uh, it's, a, it's a good bread. I'll do the little Italian scoop. That's, that's what I do. So, stay in. Where's my beer? Let's see what we got going on. It's funny, the main flavor that I'm getting is cardamom. I'm thinking that the cardamom seeds are stronger than the pods themselves. Um, because, yeah, it's really, it's the majority of what I'm getting. A little bit of the nut, nutty kind of flavor from cashews, but they're very mild. Uh, and, you know, a little kick from the chili peppers. A little nutmeg kicking through. I think the yogurt just gives it body. It doesn't really have much of a flavor component. It's, maybe I'm just chewing on the, I think that's what it is. Hmm. There's like all these little, the cardamom didn't really break down in the food processor, so. I'm getting bites of that. Let me try not chewing and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, if I don't, <clears throat> if I don't bite down on those cardamom pods, I get a little more of that nutty kind of, kind of flavor. Uh, not as cardamom-y. <laughs> so next time I'll try and get the pods, or maybe even just ground cardamom would have been better so that I didn't have to rely on my blender to chop it down to size. The chicken is perfect though. It definitely, you know, it's just super tender. Chili peppers don't really have much kick to them since they've been cooking for so long. Kind of leached out into the, uh, mm, maybe not. Uh, they're still a little spicy, but they're not as spicy as they were though. Anyway, I would say try to, try to make this if you can. Um, but don't do what I did. All right, so I don't usually do this, but next day uh, I was editing the footage actually and I decided to have a little bit of a midnight snack um, on the uh, korma and as, as is usual with stews it's better the next day but here's the deal um, it's still got a lot of cardamom going on and it's really because those stupid those pods where are they these stupid things don't don't use these no why, like, why, why are they outside of their pods? Why are the seeds outside of their pods? Makes no sense. Um, get the powder or get the pods themselves. Don't get the seeds. Um, but the nut flavor comes through like crazy right now. It's almost got like a cashew butter kind of vibe. Um, yeah, this is, this is much better. Yeah, just a little update. Cook this. Now, it's good. So that's Korma Lawand. If you liked watching this, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of these videos in the future as they come out, be sure to hit that subscribe button up there. And if you have food from your home country that you want to see me attempt to prepare on this show, then leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.